What is up guys, Pyro here, and today I've got some massive, massive Black Ops 3 news for you that I'm pretty excited about. So we're going to go ahead and start with the small news. A few of the classified guns from the beta have kind of been leaked. It looks like we've got two shotguns that weren't released in the beta. One of them looks like the Remington from Black Ops 2, and the classified sniper rifle that was not included in the beta looks like something called the Sniper Bolt. I'm assuming a bolt-action sniper rifle. The two submachine guns that were hidden in the beta are the M27 and the MP7, and if I remember correctly, the MP5 was in Black Ops 2, so I'm assuming it's probably going to be something close to that. Now, moving on, the ninth specialist has been leaked. We don't know the name of the specialist, but we know that the weapon is a flamethrower called the Purifier, and I've seen a little bit of gameplay, and it looks really, really just awesome. And the ability is called Heat Wave, which creates a sphere around you which burns and stuns all enemies within a certain radius of you. We've never had a, a real flamethrower in uh, Black Ops before, and as far as I know, any Call of Duty game, but Black Ops specifically. Now, there has been a leaked map, which is going to be Nuketown. Now, Nuketown has been revised, and they've even changed the spelling. Instead of an E in Nuke, they have a 3. And it's going to be redone because of the movement system that they have in place now, where we can jump higher and things like that. So they've got to kind of kind of revamp it, and I'm pretty excited for it. All I've seen is some concept art. I don't know if this is an official picture or not, but this is all I've seen. Now on to the big news. We've got some zombies news. It turns out they're remaking Kino Der Toten, which has been confirmed. Now, Kino Der Toten is that theater map that everybody was just in love with, and it was just so, so much fun. They will be bringing back Transit, which I know a lot of people hated, but it's also got three new side quests, so maybe that'll kind of lighten the mood on it, you know, and, and give it a break. I was okay with it, but a lot of people hated it, so maybe they're going to actually include the second bus route, and it'll be a, it'll be a real thing this time. Weapon storage is returning, how you could store weapons in die rise and transit and buried in the fridge. That will be returning and it says it will still be a fridge. So some more rumors are there could be possibly a new electricity attack and grappling hook abilities. A few other rumors are character customization and the ability to play as a zombie. Now we already have turned, so I don't know if it's gonna be something like that, but it's just it's just a new rumor that we're gonna be able to play as zombies as well. Now, apparently Black Ops 3 will be checking your Easter egg progress from Black Ops 2 zombies, although it is unclear as to why right now. There have been references in the code to a campaign and story mode for zombies. Again, this is kind of rumored, but I would be pretty, pretty excited about it, and it really wouldn't surprise me considering how big zombies has gotten. Now, confirmed news, there will be a theater mode in Zombies mode, which I'm pretty excited to see. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Buildables is returning along with the Mystery Box, Pack-A-Punch, Perks, Power-Ups, and Power for Machines, which again, we kind of assumed, but it's good to just have some, some ground knowledge on it. There will be a Ranks and Prestige mode in Zombies, which has been confirmed by Activision with an XP progression system. However, the as it looks like, Cap will be level 35. It looks almost like how they did it in Black Ops 2 with the Zombies, but they, they've just really improved on it with an XP system, and I cannot wait to play it. Hopefully it won't go away if you don't play it every once in a while, but hopefully it'll be just like multiplayer's XP system. And last but not least, Hidden Songs will be returning, which again, we can we kind of assumed that, but there will be a hidden song for theme music in the zombies mode and Shadows of Evil. Now, Shadows of Evil, we again kind of assumed that there would be a hidden song, but the zombies menu, I don't know how they're going to do that. I don't know if maybe they'll put one thing that you have to do in each map maybe, or maybe it's just going to be in the Shadows of Evil. Regardless, I'm pretty excited to, to hear what these songs are because I've loved the songs so far. I've downloaded all of them onto my iTunes even, just because I love that they're metal and they really kind of get you pumped to play zombies and, and really kind of get you into it. That's about it for today's video. Um, I haven't seen any videos on this information yet, so I think I'm the first. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe if you want more updates like this. I love doing these updates. As soon as I get information, I'm going to be giving it to you guys. Share with anybody that loves zombies. I mean, I'm a huge zombies fan, so I like to connect with other people that love it just as much as I do. So give it a like, give it a subscribe, uh, comment down below what you think 
Are you excited to see these things return? Are you disappointed in any of the new updates? And share with your friends. All right, thanks guys. Peace. I've got a real quick update. I just found a list on all the perks that you can get out of the gumball machine that you saw in the Shadows of Evil trailer. So I'm going to do a video on that. It should be up within an hour or two. So just hold tight. Thanks. <laughs>